Hey guys, Dan from World of Mr. Grey back with part three of um, the book cover I'm trying to do. My glasses keep steaming up, unfortunately. But um, I added. Oh my god, come on. Um, I added a little things here and there off in between videos. I was only about five or ten minutes worth. But, and I've also upscaled it now. I've, I think I've doubled it in pixel size. Um, but I don't want to go too high. I can't wear my glasses right now. They keep steaming up because I just got out of the bath. <laughs> but um, I don't want to go too high because the initial size, once it, it, if it gets printed, is going to be that big, maybe? Maybe that big? I don't know. Book, book cover size. You know, it's not going to be massive. So I don't need to upscale it too much. But um, I'm just going to try and work... Like, even though there's going to be dead bodies and decaying stuff, I'm not going to add them till later on. I'm going to try and work on the interior environment first. Um, in the last episode, you saw me clean up all the lines. Looks a bit too clean now. I need to start breaking things, and there's going to be like a... Um, uh, what's it called? Like a smashed out... Um, it's not smashed out, but like, like... How can I say it? Like something's ripped a hole in that area there. Not, not there is something. Well, I don't know. Maybe there is. Maybe there's that Boston Dynamics dog. Who knows? But there's going to be something in that area which will... The side of the bus is blown out or something. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to start breaking things down now. Making it not look so clean. And we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> what I am trying to attempt, this is again, you know, like I keep bloody saying, it's going to take a while, but I'm just trying to decay everything now. It's gonna, This is going to take a while because everything was so clean with the lines and the, everything was too clean that I'm just trying to decay everything now. And I'm like using references of um, like decayed paint and scuffed walls and the like stuff like that basically so i'm just trying to i'm basically just scribbling <laughs> stuff on the walls that's that's what i'm trying to do 
of seats, the, up, the upholstery of it's, it's the beginning of it and he still needs a lot of work on the, the damage of the upholstery. That one up here, I've just left it for now because I was doing, I did the third seat and I thought, right, I want to move on to something else. I'm sick of decaying the seats. So I'll go back to that one at a later date, but for now I'm just going to mess it up. Okay, took a little break, a two day break. Um, I don't like that floor. <laughs> I don't like the lighting on that floor. Well, even though it's in place all day, I'm just gonna continue. By the way, what I'm doing there is I am clearing up, due to my crappy sketch I was going on before, on about before, I had left some uh, stuff in between that on a different layer, so I just put some stuff there so I could see what I was doing. <laughs> oh, remember, get your sketches right, people. I know I'm, I'm lighting stuff at the moment. This is all just early lighting stuff. So when I actually, when I finished like adding whatever I want, like the decaying stuff, I know which parts I need to, obviously I'm gonna render the entire thing with lighting and shading and that's the plan. That's the plan.
what I'm trying to make in that area is like something's crashed out of it or exploded out of the bus or something and that's all the sort of bent structure left but eventually I'm gonna have to figure out figure out how to draw glass because <laughs> I had glass placeholder there it looked all right but I had it blue now everything is blue no, oh, excuse me. So, so I have to try and figure that out. That actually looks a bit off. I just realised that is not in line with that. <laughs> so I have to move that somehow. Eventually, I'm going to have to draw something outside because it's going to be tough to see the contrast of the light otherwise when I'm drawing it. So eventually, I'm going to have to try and come up with something outside. I was going to do like broken down buildings with traffic lights and cars and stuff. <laughs> I'm looking up uh, references of broken bus windows. <laughs> I was going to draw the old like sort of sheet glass but it all uses safety glass where they break into a million pieces most buses do anyway even the old buses so i have to try and figure out how to do that okay i just realized i know i, I think i got an idea how to do that glass but i'm gonna have to draw the outside first because i'm gonna use white to, to simulate shattered glass which you can't do now because it's all white on the outside. <laughs> but I'm going to call it a day on this one for now. Because this video is going to be massively long otherwise. But um, yeah. It's coming along nice and slow. Uh, like I am going to take my time with this one. And I am going to try and break up the videos with different paintings as well. Because you don't want to just see this every bloody time do you? So. Oh, excuse me. So yeah that's. So far, uh, any tips, any hints, any advice, I would love it. I was thinking of for the decayed stuff for references. I'm going to actually look at my old urban exploring videos because there's loads of decayed stuff in that. <laughs> so, so anyway, um, that's, what, that's where I am so far on this. A long, long, long way to go. And I'm enjoying it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I didn't say leave a like or subscribe. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you're new to my channel, leave a sub, drop a sub, whatever. And I, um, I'll be back again soon. I can't speak as one. Anyway, I'm going. Bye for now. Oh, good.